Holding is the probably one of the next things that are obviously is so important and the high quality clothing that you can use nowadays versus what we used to use 20 years ago. I remember you know, going on my first sheep hunts in blue jeans and obviously not thinking that this was, this was the ideal piece of clothing, but that's just kind of what we did. Now, that has changed a lot with the technologies that have come to the hunting world through companies like Kuyu. Those technologies now are at the leading edge of the outdoor fabrics. They are what, you know, the Kuyu is the north face of 10 years ago in that they're just leading the charge in these amazing technical fabrics to the point where now they are at par with those best outdoor brands that are out there. It's getting the best quality clothing that you can again afford to get. And sometimes when you're going on a mountain hunt, you can't afford not to get it. <laughs> and you can't afford not to spend the money that it takes to be able to put all of the advantages in your court that you can before you actually hit the mountain. So I find that we spend so much time planning and preparing for, you know, this, our hunting season to come up, whether it's the hunt of a lifetime, a sheep hunt, or whether it's we drew a, we got ourselves a meal dare tag and we've been, you know, working all summer toward putting the physical effort and the training, all of these things together. And then we don't value the importance of some of the equipment. And instead of putting that value on it, we will take a subpar piece of equipment into the mountains and then that can be the one thing that destroys the hunt for us. Now, we can think that it's the rain or the weather, the snow, the wind. We can blame it on those things, but when we have clothing that allow the moisture in and don't allow us to dry out with high impact after you know an exertion and then we get cold and then we start to shiver and then the mental breakdown happens so when we put all of the things and high quality clothing into our in, into our backpacks into what we need to accomplish the goal man it just took, can, you know it just builds this total package of for success and that's the way I look at every piece of clothing that I put on my body is that this is giving me the best advantage to be the best that I can under the conditions on the mountain that occur. So when it comes to the clothing, um, I want to talk a little bit about the layering system and how it works for me. So once again, I don't take anything into the field that I do not think I'm going to use. So when really how I look at it is throughout the day is I should be taking, you know, depending on the exertion level, you wake up in the morning, you probably have all of your clothes on if it's cold out, and then you remove clothing as the exertion level goes up. What I do not do is I do not have clothing in my pack that I remove something and I put something else on. So it never works that way for me because everything must function at an up and down level. So when I remove clothing in the morning, as the exertion level goes up, it goes into my pack. And then as I slow down or I stop to glass, then that piece of clothing comes back on. And if it gets, the wind then picks up, or I need another one, another one comes on. It never, something never gets replaced by something else. That's how my layering system works. And that means that I'm never carrying anything that I do not need in the hills, period. If it doesn't function on multiple levels at best, it better function at a singular level at the highest ability that it has. That's how my backpack rolls. And I think that, that if, you, if you use those kind of philosophies and that mentality that, that I have, when I'm in the mountains, I think that you'll be better for it. It'll certainly benefit you, lighten you up, and decrease the fluff in your pack. And I call fluff anything that 
you know, does not have an absolute function. Stuff like, you know, extras, like cards, games, books. These things do not make it into my pack because I, A, don't plan on spending a lot of time in the tent. And if I do have to hunker down in the tent, then you know what? I should either be sleeping to get the energy back or I should be eating. Um, sure, you can be spending some time talking, talking strategy or talking to the team, you know, having fun, but it's not certainly going to be at the expense of carrying extra weight. That's how, that's how it works for, for our team. And I think that it's really been a great secret to success for us.